say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Get a motion to approve the agenda as written. So, second. Alex and Hessen. All those in favor? Yep. Aye. Perfect. Get a motion to approve the consent agenda as written. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Receive and file communications, petitions, or remonstrances. I received an email today from a gentleman and his family that uh, come to the family. And apparently, there is a movie coming out called The Hunt, and he is concerned about its subject matter and would like us to maybe review that a little bit, maybe contact the theater about what its content is before we perhaps show it in town. I did see the trailer. It's a little off. So if you guys would be so pleased to just check it out a little bit, and I'll have Chris, if you want to drop this off sure. at the theater, that would be great. Out of curiosity, would what power would we have? The <laughs> we don't, but I told him I would pass it on to you guys and we would let the theater know. Unfortunately, there's something called the First Amendment. Right, that's kind of what I was thinking. So. Yeah, they <laughs> rarely show Army AA. Now, they used to, when I was a kid, have seven o'clock showing at nine o'clock showing. Remember that? Yes, yes. The nine o'clock yes. movie was it's always, adult movies. It was an adult movie. Yes. Like an R rated. terribly adult, right? And you have, you, they checked IDs and all that kind of stuff. But Seven o'clock was always a favorite. I don't, I don't remember them having done that for. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the recent. Yeah. <coughs> You're right. Thank you. Back when I was a kid, they showed anything they didn't want. Back in the last century. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, any need for a special election or anything like that. So it would just be um, just a vacancy. But the difference is that as soon as the election happens, that individual takes the seat immediately rather than wait till January. And their term would be for two years. Correct. To, to fill out the rest of the remainder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's the same way I do. Correct. So, either way, you will be moving out, just the timing of which is not. <laughs> yeah. Whether it be in a camper or a real house. <laughs> <laughs> either way, I thank you for your time. And We'll hang around for a while. <laughs> Are there any other uh, things to be spoken of? If not, we're going to move on to committee reports. General government <coughs> met at 6.30 tonight just before council to talk about uh, maybe streamlining how we deal with nuisance properties, nuisance issues oh, moving sure. forward. Um, we have a rough draft of something that I'm going to look at a little bit further and uh, possibly also incorporating a committee into this process. So all of council is informed of what's happening and Jerry and Ted and Chris aren't consumed with all of the burden of this. It just really isn't a burden, but when they have other stuff to do, it is, does kind of fall under our our job. So anyway, I'll be working on that in the next couple weeks. Any questions on that? Moving on, citizens input. Seeing none. <laughs> <laughs> Before you all leave, I have to get your picture. I just got a text from Mona. It's Mona that sent me. So just sitting there nice and pretty, but maybe you can go this, but we can wait. I very much fit. Moving on to old business. Need a motion for the second consideration of Orbis amending the official floodplain zoning map. Motion? Second. Stark and Pellet. So, did you get my packet of stuff that got sent to my house? I sure did, Mr. Bear. And that should be all the updated maps. Um, it is. And DVDs and posters and whatnot. When I went through it, I was kind of surprised what areas I didn't think should still be in floods, and it is. So, you know, it's a little hard to push it, piece it all together into one big map. Oh, yeah. Any questions on that? Is there anything you can do if you think it's wrong? You can hire somebody to come out and shoot the elevations and put a protest into Loma or something? You have to do a Loma, a letter of map amendment yes. process. But there is a way. So mm -hmm. if you think you're in a floodplain, but you think your elevations are off, you have to hire somebody to shoot them and then send them in for an amendment. And they'll come out and I shoot them, they'll come out and shoot it too. But, mm -hmm. So there is an option. And hopefully when the wetland thing comes to fruition, that might change some things. I think they're going to come out and check elevations at that point to see what kind of effect it has. Do you think they would do that on their own? I think they are going to do it on their own. To ask that, that question, but it's coming up later on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions on that? Roll call. Hey, Elwood. Yes. Edwards. Yes. Essen. Yes. Stark. Yes. Park. Yeah. Casinius. Yep. Thank you. Yes. All right. <coughs> I need a motion to approve a resolution for the Nord first edition preliminary and final flat. The so move. Is there? Have we actually seen them? We always get these legal descriptions. Yeah, that's, that's right here. Is that what? It, <coughs> that's what that plan set was. Yeah. 
Okay. I remember that. Divide it off into three lots. And yep, and only build on the just have one buildable lot. The last lot, the four acre lot, is just floodplain with no intention to ever build on that. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a roll call? Yes, it is. A roll call, please. Stark? Yes. Edwards? Yes. Hessen? Yes. Elwick? Yes. Parr? Yep. Cedis? Yep. Thank you, Mr. North. All right, now's the time to discuss the amending the fence ordinance. Did you're up on this one? Uh, well, I, I just did what we talked about on the pages that are in your packet. The very top one, City of Benton, item G, was the only thing we had on our ordinances pertaining to fences. And as we know from this spring and summer, in dealing with certain people, that was not enough. We needed to be more specific. Um, and earlier this summer, I had found a couple of different ordinances. And in our discussion as a group, all of the things under item G are what we had agreed on that we'd like to add. So this is basically just a draft. And I didn't know, I mean, Chris was probably going to need to edit it or, or whatever. But, but this is much more comprehensive and would be beneficial in the situations that we had earlier this year. I'd like Bob also to review it as sure, well. Sure, sure. But it was, this was one of those things that we had talked about as a group and we knew we needed to improve and I just wanted to make sure we get it done. So you think this is getting pretty close to final draft? Well, it's my first draft, but I, I mean, I don't know, you guys can look at it if there's something that needs to come out. I had, I had somebody actually ask me about the side fences. Um, and uh, it's essentially G that's already in our ordinance. Uh, fences or hedges shall not exceed two and a half feet in any front yard. I assume that that means essentially the curb line. Is that what that means, Bob? A front yard is it is parallel to the curb. I would assume so. Frontage on whatever your lot is, your street. Curb. And the reason I asked that is I had somebody because then the side six points. Six. Could be from the curb. What's that? Could be from the curb. No, you have a setback from the curb back. Okay. Then... Okay. Well, yeah. So if I wanted to have a side fence mm -hmm. that went all the way up to the setback, no, from the curb, yeah, it, it can be six foot. No, because um, then you're encroaching into the front yard at that point. Well, yeah. Where does that front yard? At the edge of the house. Once you exceed, what the, house? Uh, once you exceed um, the side of the house to the front of the house, where typically your driveway, the area parallel to that, that would be considered your front yard. Okay. So if it's sticking out, let's say about three feet beyond the edge of where the windows and everything else is, so out, the, that would be considered in the front yard. The question came because somebody's neighbors don't keep their yard in very good condition their house their yard their stuff in very good condition at least in their opinion and they would they currently have hedges that are six feet tall that are going all the way to, not all the way to the curb but um, set back a little bit well those bushes are getting too big and so they wanted to get rid of those and put up a fence to essentially 
make it so they couldn't see their neighbor's junk. Um, but their question was, how tall can that side fence be? All the way? Not from the curb. Oh, no, not the So starting at the, 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 the corner of the house. Mm -hmm. Right. Away from the curb. Mm -hmm. be six <laughs> and and from the corner of the house to the curb, four foot. So, right. so the part that they see, I mean, you're going to look, Over when you walk fence. out your front door and you look to the left or you look to the right, you're only going to have a three and a half foot fence at max. So I'm going to see all the junk in my neighbor's yeah, whatever it says in, here. in my neighbor's yard. Yes. So they are better off not touching their bushes. Turn right now. Right. Not if the issue's in the front yard. Yeah. It is. If the bushes are overhanging on their property, they can trim the side of them. Chris, the fence would be the same as your as what's allowed for a house, right? It doesn't necessarily go with the front of your house because as long as your house it goes by the setback from the easement. Oh, I see. So if your saying. house is back farther than is necessary, mm -hmm. the fence could possibly go farther out. Yeah, it could. could. Go further, yes. It could do that. You, I believe it's 25 feet is the front from the easement. From the center of the road? Or yes. 25 feet from the center of the road. So the first 25 feet from the center of the road. Uh, 25 feet barely like what you had there. 35. Yeah, but yeah. you're in the parking then. The parking is the same. So I think it's 35. I 35. Whatever it is. What is it from the center of the road? <laughs> Typically, if it's a uh, center of the road is either 60, 66 foot, or 80 um, for both sides. So divide that in half is either 30, 33, or 40. So call it 40. That's so a wide 40 feet, street then. Huh? That's a wide street. You don't get too many of those. Call it Typically 30, it's 60. 35. Call it 35. <laughs> Just call it something. 35 from the center of the road. 35 feet back. That's where I can start a six foot fence. No, then you have to go by your setback. How far back that fence is allowed. Whether it's six foot or so the edge of the easement starts 35 feet off the center of the road, mm -hmm. and then the setback is so far off that easement. Yeah. It's basically a corner of the other. Pretty much. That's where Most the sister houses do. 90% of the houses are that way. <coughs> well, mine is. And I think the one of maybe the reason I'm thinking 25 or 35, maybe that is from the curve. Mm -hmm. For visibility. Yeah. And then. But there's also something to it, if I'm not mistaken, if the neighboring houses, you can go in line with the neighboring houses. Mm -hmm. So if they're encringing on the easement, you are allowed as well, as long as you keep it in line. If you've got two neighbors, you can put the house in the center. Even if it doesn't quite match the Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, I'm man. Sure I don't, about that. It, 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 you're right. Because otherwise, it looks kind of goofy if you got houses going back and forth. You know. I went through that once. <laughs> so you're talking from experience. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Well, in that case, I would say that each one is going to be addressed as an individual basis so we find out what the setback is on that particular property. And with Mr. Benson, when we went through that with him, he went right on the easement line. And that wasn't a problem at the time. We never we never called him on that part. Well, you I'm not wrong. I don't maybe I'm wrong. I, don't. I thought you could put a fence up on on the property line all the way around it's just in the front it has to be three foot you can encase your whole house with the fence on the line on the line yeah. it just can't go over the line but like over the sidewalk well you, you you can but the chances are well 
if there's a break, water main break or something like that, we'll wind up ripping it out just to get to it. Right, but that's their own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's that's why we tell people not to do that. There are bushes all along here. Currently, these are all bushes. And there are bushes all along this side. <coughs> and they're starting to get large. And we're talking about replacing them with a fence. So you're saying that this fence from the corner of the house on both sides up the road can't be more than three four and a half. That would be feet. my interpretation. I guess maybe we should, we should but picture the bottle all the way out to the road. But like so Brian is saying that the easement the is right here, the city easement here, there should be a setback from here, here to wherever that is. Yeah. And that's where we start. And typically that setback is the same as the house. There is a definition of front yard. And yeah. Oh, yeah, front and side yards are, are in our order. It would be the side of the house, the front of the house? Yes. Front of the house is going to be the house the address is on. Uh, except for uncovered steps, uncovered balconies, or uncovered porch. Those are not part of the setback. Those are not part of the house for purposes of front yard. The whole reason I bring it up is we're discussing fences and I've got somebody that wants I'd send them down to talk to Chris. Doesn't want to look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me. That's fine. That's what I'm here for. Okay. I work with people. I work with everybody. Oh, Jerry Michaels because he, that's his deal. Yeah. Any other person to call? Mm -hmm. Hey. And just be good to get some recommendations for you. Invest the money. Yeah, while, we, while we're talking about it, we work together actually, you know, more often than not. So, if you guys want to make change to this, is what I'm getting at. <coughs> Tammy would entertain those changes so she can fine tune it and so we can keep moving forward. Would that be the thing? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I mean, ultimately, it's going to fall to Chris and Bob. So the sooner we can get through the changes ourselves and get it to Chris to draft, the sooner we can have it in our little hand. Did you decide you didn't want any setback in like the foot or whatever? If you decided you did not want to do that. And we were discussing it at one point. Yeah, we can discuss that. It was not in my notes of what we wanted to keep. Right, we, can, we can make those changes. And yeah. Bob and I can go through it, and then we can um, come up with a, a draft based off of what you have, and then bring it back. Is that fair, Bob? Coming in already. Wow. All right, is there any more discussion on the fence? All right. Moving on to new business. New motion to consider the purchase of a rear blade for the street department track. Motion. So is this budgeted for? Yes, I need the more. There was, there wasn't a mower budgeted for it. Was right. the blade? The blade is what was budgeted for, and this is under our budget. How much did we budget for? Remember? Oh, I know this was about maybe four or five hundred dollars less than what we budgeted for. Oh. If that is if you accept. It. Any questions on the bids? Do we need to be specific motion that we go with the Kuminga bid? That would be great. Yes. Okay. I move that we go with the Kuminga bid <coughs> for the blade. I'll second that. Roll call. Oh, no, oh, it's seniors. Yep. R. Yep. Stark. Yes. Hessen. Yes. Edwards. Yeah. Elwood. Yes. All right, a motion to consider the disbursement of lost funds of 19.9 to the Minton Community Foundation. 
second. <clears throat> Start in that way. So they gave a list of all the stuff that they uh, awarded to, or are going to, from last year, right? Impressive list. Yes. I have the privilege of being a city council representative on this board, and it is one of the most fun things. It is fun. So, I think there was a lot of good, good stuff. Four years you've been funded. This is four years. This will be. They still have the five year one. Yeah. I don't know what they do for now. It's a plus one. Good thing? No. Not with me. No. They just found something else. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. All righty. Roll call. Edwards. Yes. Stark. Yes. Parr. No. Seamus. Yep. Hessen. Yeah. Elwood. Yes. Okay. Right. Any motion to consider the sidewalk reimbursement to Andrew McKenna? 1106 A Avenue. So Looks very nice. Any discussion? Roll call. Parr. Elwick. Yes. Stark. Yes. Edwards. Yes. The seniors. Yep. Hessen. Yes. Now it's time to discuss the artwork on City Hall on the east wall. I got an email from uh, Carr, escaping me at the moment. Ms. Carr Blue, yes. <laughs> and she was wondering if we could put some sort of artwork, maybe the art guild would come out there and like she sent some pictures of like just some angel wings out there that people could walk up to and get their picture taken with. They're actually kind of cool. And actually, your name got brought up specifically, Mr. Barr. <laughs> so, I didn't know that'd be something you might be interested in instead of just having a plain old block wall and having a place for people to go get their picture taken. You used to do a lot of mermaids. Would that work? You work it out. <laughs> I think it's an awesome idea. I do think we should see it first. Yeah, I see that. Before we put something on it. So. They, the work they've done outside. It looks fantastic out there. Yes, they have. There was a, yeah, just before I came in, there was a, a lady out here taking a picture of her little, little girl in front of the minion out here. <laughs> oh, yes, cool. they have definitely done a great yes, job yeah. beautifying it out here. Those, those minions are spreading throughout the town. Yeah, yeah. they're awesome. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Yeah. I gotta figure out how one I could put one on a street pole, though. <clears throat> the characters from the movie. Well, the hydrants will be there. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, on the on the safety posts, so they don't back into the buildings. You know they're using uh, jar lids for the eyes. It's pretty cool. I saw a couple of Halloween costumes that have the jar lids. And I think there are other people who are doing it as well. They're starting this. Like I know they started it over here. I understand, but I've seen them pop up around other areas of town that I don't think that they are doing. Uh, there will be a other community members are getting into a street baller that doesn't have, have one on here. Yeah. 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 on, so it's good. Keep Brian Park Carving has some competition. Oh, What's that? Brian Park Carving has some competition now. Minions. He's looking at <laughs> drive around looking for the minions. Well, they're going to have to have something that's trees keep rotting away. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to, if anybody is not opposed to it, I'd like to see if Mr. Parr would talk to Lou about it and see what you had in mind and maybe give us some ideas what you could put back there. Okay. Thank you. That's cool. So. Alrighty. Now is the time to set a work session. This is our monthly Let's talk about what we want to talk about thing before the next council meeting. General government. What? There's one other thing that we need to add, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Uh, EOR would like to come and talk to the council during work session at 6 o'clock next meeting as well. EOR is the engineering firm that is actually the designers of the wetland. 
Okay. And they would like to come and discuss what the wetland is going to be like and, and their renderings and drawings and that sort of thing. I would like to discuss what their whole plan is with the city council at 6 o'clock next week. So, take an hour? Yeah, will they take an hour? I, I don't know. They're coming down from Minnesota. So. Um, well, we'll, we'll give them the time they need. So I apologize. It just that's all right. I tried to get them to come tonight, but they couldn't make it. So we will set a general government work session. We will for six o'clock on the September. Oh, call me. Thank you. Twenty uh, second. Nope, yeah. wrong month. Yeah, you're right. Twenty second. All right, but. Right. Yep, that's the work session. So that's at six o'clock. Six o'clock. I forgot about this one. So I even texted you. Huh? I even texted you. No, you didn't. You did. When? Texted me. What time? I put my. Oh, no, you're the first one I texted. <laughs> <laughs> I put it at five. It's someone four fifty-five. Oh. <laughs> okay, so six o'clock next meeting. Not, not for the work session, though, but for the EOR. Yes, and Adam Rodenberg will be here as well. Awesome. Fantastic. Look forward to that one. Well, is that a motion, somebody? Oh, I did. Oh, you did. Did somebody second it? Sure. Brian did. Brian did. Okay. All those in favor of it? I Everybody was in favor of it. Six o'clock on the 22nd. All righty. All that fun stuff being said, now I need a motion to move into a closed session for Iowa Code 21.5.